In many ways, 2020 started like any other year. But as we soon found out, it turned out to be a year like no other. Hey, Worship Center family, I'd like to talk to you about something that is probably on everyone's mind, and that is the coronavirus. We're not gonna have any live events here at the Worship Center. We're canceling the services. The church isn't a building, but a gathering. And we have said this time and time again, that we wanna be a church of ministers, not a church with ministers. And so this is our opportunity, Worship Center, to minister to a lot of scared people. And minister you did. You showed up with smiles, masks, and serving hearts. And while the pastors and staff did everything they could to reach people in our county and beyond. Hello, everybody's out here. Right here, hey, happy Dad's Day, coming up pretty soon. Uh, we just... We miss you all from the Saturday night greeting team. You're gonna cut the top off? Our volunteers stepped up like Just never before. Bye. Bye. You turned a year that for many was filled with chaos, change, grief, and disappointment. And together we triumphed. And though our worship together may have looked a little different, the mission of the church never changed. Check this out. Uh, this, is, this is why we do what we do, is because we want to reach out to our community. to lead people into a growing relationship with Jesus Christ. Because something happens when you present your anxiety, your worry to Him, when you slow down and realize that whatever you face, you face with God. Something amazing happens and He promises there's a peace. Not a peace that's absence of trying circumstances, but leaning on God in the midst of those circumstances. So as Christians, we gotta be reminded that our hope and refuge is in God and that He is here in the midst of it as we face this together. <laughs> 